talking about someone's style sort of uh, rem being reminiscent to his um, at Natural Selection. And then we just got it started getting into um, the rock star magical force of, uh, of Roman. And man, we laughed ourselves senseless. Laughed ourselves senseless and then stopped and just uh, more than once was like, Like rock star and how he rode, like reckless, wild, zero fucks given. Ba -ba. And then on land, like let's go, <laughs> it's not over. Just thinking back on all these years, it's, what a blur. If I was to write a book about all this stuff, I'd seriously have to like at least leave a three or four years out because I can't really remember anything at the pace that we were going. You got a better memory than I do. It's all those whiplash over the years. Have you had lots of concussions? Uh, uh, three that I remember. I think the, the most severe one was the one in Livigno I was filming with Vlad. Or just find that little hip on the side of the, uh, the road. I don't know, I fucked up and I uh, woke up and Vlad's like, you know where you are? I'm like, no idea. What got you into snowboarding? Well, actually, uh, it was one of my friends in my village had a Burton Air and uh, he was the kid that always got the, the cool new stuff, you know, the, the first like cool skateboard and stuff like that. So he had one and I was like, oh, I need to try snowboarding. And then I said, oh, I want to rent one and try. So I did and I never stopped. Alors c'est un enfant qui était solitaire. Très solitaire et il jouait beaucoup tout seul. Sage. Bon, turbulent par moment avec sa sœur, mais autrement très solitaire. Il jouait beaucoup au Lego. Il faisait des montages en Lego. C'est un passionné de ça. Mais autrement euh, sportif depuis tout petit. Il a fait du football, il a fait du judo. Qu'est-ce qu'il a fait Du vélo, du skate. Enfin, c'était le sportif euh, depuis tout petit. Voilà. I've been riding for like probably four years before I tried to do any competition, but I found out soon enough that that wasn't really suited for me. I don't know, I was a little bit of a wild child, so, you know, too, too format it is not for me, I think. Not enough freedom. I was riding a lot with Nico Droz back in the days when I was on the Moro team. It was just like, it was kind of like my big brother. It was like driving me around do contests in France or demos or going like, I don't know, just anywhere he wanted to go and I was just following on weekends, you know, he would pick me up and just jump in his car and just driving like a maniac everywhere. <laughs> I was scared the shit out of me and, and just go riding all the time. That was super fun time. Uh, I came across Roman like um, on the more days, um, probably when I was uh, 19 or 20 years old and uh, Roman was on the um, on the Swiss more team I was on the French more team and um, yeah every weekend like some some events I, I would take him with him I could tell uh, right away he had a, a lot of energy like uh, a lot of power already in his riding like yeah strong and powerful riding like it, it was a pleasure to be to be uh, to be around it like bring the energy energy to the session and uh, the stuckness was around so it, it, it was good for sure I always had a, a camera since I was uh, 14 so I'm always uh, like filming uh, what we do so I remember having footage of, of him. Back in the days, like, he was pretty wild on his board and a lot of energy, but of the snow, he was mellow, mellow of the snow at that time. <laughs> I remember just being excited to work with him. Uh, it, yeah, it was kind of around the time that that was happening. There was talks that he was coming to Bert and Roman was riding for Airwalk at the time. And I remember seeing his video part in, uh, oh, what was that movie? I just watched it recently. 
recently, he was doing like, he was at Mount Hood and he was just going ham on that big jump, just doing like, just the way he was just, I never, I was excited just the way he was riding. Like he was so aggressive and so kind of like out of control, but at the same time, like locked in, like, you know, just grabbing and doing like full Japan, insane kind of tweaked out. And actually when I first met him, I think the first time we met was at Mount Hood and we kind of like didn't quite get along. And when I first met him, like we were kind of, we just, yeah, we kind of clashed just because of our personalities and egos and and whatnot. But I was already a fan of his riding and, um, but you know, over time, yeah, he joined the team and we traveled the world together and, and obviously spent a lot of time uh, in the mountains, like for, especially like during the time of filming like saturation and stuff, that was like a big, uh, you know, for me, I was kind of like living in like Court de Soleil and then like, you know, going out and hanging out with him at his, uh, at his family's place and, you know, got my first tattoo with Roman and, um, yeah. So, and then we just became close in a way that like we always could, you know, fight and bicker at each other, but I uh, didn't have big disagreements, but there was also like a sense of respect and, and, um, and, you know, yeah, just like his riding kind of really spoke volumes and, and I guess gave you a sense of his personality as well. Thank you.